Here's a picture of that uh, general of Hamas laying in rest after the airstrike took him out. But I want you to look at the picture over here. And uh, Israel, you've gone done fucked up on this one. Because for the last hundred, if not two hundred, if not thousand years, the Sunnis and the Shiites can't stand each other. They can't even be in the same room at times. And guess what you did, Izzy? You made all of these brothers stand in the same room, paying homage to the guy that you took out. Guess what happens? If they unite, yeah, the world's going to be a different color. Not too. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 men. Right? Just a quick video through the, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Yahweh Shai. The dragons of Arabia are uniting. All right? And all this is what a, 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 a fulfillment of what prophecy. All right? Because this is what it's all about. Prophecy, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So we in that time now, you know, you see in um, all the prophecy is coming to pass really quickly. It's happening fast. Here now we saw that, you know, basically the state of Israel has um, unalived an Ayatollah, a Hamas general. You know, um, no, if they call him Ayatollah, so lucky, but he's a Hamas general. You know, and here you have the Sunni and the, um, the Shiite Muslims now coming together in solidarity. Having solidarity, you no? Know? When you understand, let's go into that. Solidarity. Meaning? Solidarity. It says a unity or agreement of feeling or action, especially among individuals with a common interest. So these devils, you know, you know, you know going back into that, you know, the, the, the small hatters, 1948ers, they they creating a common interest in these Muslims, these different factions, Sunni and Shiite, right? And the, the common interest is to destroy these small hatters, take them out of the earth, right? You know, I believe it was Iraq, Iran was playing with playing with um 1940s and they send a missile into the core and you know a, a, a hypersonic missile, so they starting to show that their power, they flexing their mus their muscles. So the missile could have touched them. Alright, the missile could have touched them. So they're creating this um this unity, which wasn't possible, you know, basically before. Because they, they as the guy was saying, the Shiite and the and, and the Sunni the Muslims, they don't really um see eye to eye at all. They don't they, sometimes they can't even stand in the same room, but here it is the pain solidarity, you know, based that on these devils' oppression. Alright? You know, and when you understand who Ishmael is. Or Yashamai Allah, he hears the power. That's what that's what Yashamai Allah means, you know. You know. Yah means he, Shamai means to hear. Allah power, he hears the power. That's Ishmael. Alright, and Ishmael is a wild man. The scripture tells you that. Let's go to um, the book of Genesis, chapter 16, and verse 12. It tells you what? And he will be a wild man, and his hand will be against every man. So if his hands it's going to be against every man. You know, he was even against himself. Fighting against a Shiite versus Sunni. Alright? And every man hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Now in the NLT it says, This son of yours will be a wild man, as untamed as a wild donkey. A wild donkey will kick your ass. You know, he will kill, kick you and put it and unalive you. He will raise his fist against everyone. And everyone will be against him. Yes, he will live in open hostility against all his rebels, which is true in the middle in the so-called Middle East. But now, you know, they they unite in them, they're creating a solidarity between the, between the factions, and all the tribes of of Ishmael now are uniting. And guess what? They're gonna come up against they're gonna come up against Esau, so-called white man, 1948ers, and that state that they created, you know, in our land. All right, that's that's what's about to take place. Okay. So all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is Second Ezra 15 and um, verse 28. 
it says, Behold a horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east, right? The so-called Middle East, right? Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth. They're going to run a rage and wrath against who Babylon the Great against 1948 in that failed that state, right? Okay? That all they which hear them may fear and tremble so it's going to be all of them going to unite huge look look how many um so ishmaelite countries are there in in, in so-called middle east and northern africa all right they're going to come up with all that they have okay and rage in a rat as a wild donkey right striking because a lot of these um these, these um these these nations and hamas they you know they they beaten their um their plowshares into swords they're investing a lot into weaponry, defenses. All right? Look at what uh, uh, the Fortitas have done to Palestine. To the Ishmaelites living there. So they, they, they're being united. All right? It says also the Carmanians, which are the Iranians, raging and wrath shall go as forth as wild boar. So you have a wild donkey and you have a wild boar. Both of them are very dangerous. A donkey, a donkey could take out a wolf. A donkey taking out a man easy, you know. Now we have a, now we have a wild boar, which, which, which are the Khamenians, the Iranians, the Persians, right? Remember, they, they unalived um, General Qasim Soleimani. You know, so they're going to have all of them, the, the, the Iranians, the, the Khamenians, which are the uh, Elamites, they're going to join with, with Ishmael, all right? In solidarity for what, what, for what uh, uh, he saw. You know, in terms of the 1940s, as the small hatters have, have, have been doing. All right, the oppression. It says also the Kamenians raging and wrath shall go forth as wild boars of the wood. And with great power shall they come and join battle with them. Because they, they, they are the Iranians pretty advanced in their weaponry. And, and the nuclear weapons. All right, it says, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. So this is what's about to take place. All right. Okay. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature. And if they shall turn, and if they shall turn themselves, conspiring together in a great power to persecute them, right? So they're gonna Esau, you know, gonna come back down with great wrath. All right. But hey, it's gonna be hell. We close to the end. We very close to the end. All right. We very close to the end. We very close to World War Three, you know. So hey, keep prayed up. Keep your eyes open. Watch and pray. Shalom. It's on.